Texas football has officially named Mike Yursich its offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach. School officials confirming the news just moments ago. Yursich called it a no-brainer career move. It brings him back to the Big 12 after spending 2013 to 2018 at Oklahoma State. This past year, his one season at Ohio State, he now joins head coach Tom Herman, who of course also has that connection to Columbus. Yursich takes over for Tim Beck, who was demoted earlier this month and is expected to assume the play calling duties. KVU's Emily John Greco joins us now. She takes a look at how the offense is responding with Beck no longer leading the charge. Well, we heard from the defensive side of the ball yesterday. Today, it was the offense. Now, it's a bit of a different situation because Tim Beck is still on staff for the Longhorns. He's just not in that offensive coordinator role. And when we had a chance to talk with Sam Ellinger about it, he said he's taking somewhat of the responsibility for the changes that have been made. you got to understand that anything that goes wrong is on you. And so that's been something that I've been thinking about a lot recently is, um, you know, all the, the games that we lost or the way that the season went, um, ultimately that's on me. And ultimately, that's that's my fault. So we didn't hear from Beck today, but we did hear from Coach Herb Hand, and he had a lot to say about Devin Duvernay. The wide receiver was snubbed in postseason awards, so Coach came to his defense, and so did Ellinger. Devin has been a guy that every coach dreams of. Um, there was no complaining. Obviously, um, he knew what he was capable of when he stepped foot in here, and then he got the opportunity to do that this year. Now you see um, all the hard work that he's put in, so it's, it's a testament to his character, and um, he's done an extremely good job of, of doing that, and he's going to be a hell of a player at the next level. I would also like to say I think it's a shame that Devin Duvernay was not up for any type of postseason award. It's a joke, to be honest with you. And the guy led the country in receiving. I wouldn't trade him for anybody. That's love. Uh, uh, forever appreciative of all my teammates. Uh, uh, I'm going to miss him. Uh, Sam's, you know, Sam's a great guy and one of my great friends. Uh, but, yeah, that meant a lot. Now the guys are interacting with local high school students, and we're going to have more on that tonight at 10. But for now, reporting at the Alamo Dome, Emily John Greco for KVU Sports.